Uh, my name's Damon. I like calling from wood spirits. It's my passion. There's no I in team. And I am just carving fusion. Ah. Okay. Nice cedar plank here. What do you think? Oh, you think so, do you? Meow, 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 meow. Hey, you don't like me today, do you? My name's Grumpy Jesse, and we do not carve hearts here at Carving Fusion, okay? We do not carve hearts. Oh, look. Is it? Could it be? It's a piece of Pacific Western U or whatever you want to call it. Just kidding, guys. I put it there. Uh, you think that kind of looks like Elvis? Anyways, this is all my soapstone here. Most of it anyways. There's a wood spirit. I uh, Side view of a wood spirit I once carved out of it. But so here, let's use this piece. Oh. That's kind of rude, isn't it? Jeez. So I think today, guys, I'm gonna be carving this piece of uh, soapstone. Kinda gotta mix it up, getting tired, a bit tired of carving wood, so this will be the carving for today. Would you look at these cute little guys? These are the ones the uh, mad scientist made in his, um, with epoxy. He gave them to me. But, uh, so anyways, about the carving, uh, the, sorry, the sanding, uh, the two inch sanding pad with a 90 degree, um, Dremel attachment. I made the live video and I think I hooked up the attachment wrong you need to make a special washer so I'm going to talk to Pete there the mad scientist and uh, see if he can me and him can do a better uh, demo about how you uh, attach that to your to your flex shaft because it won't normally fit on the flex shaft you have to make some adjustments and I I'm too fast and I don't talk slow enough and I think I did it wrong in the video so I'll have to uh, bug Pete and see if he wants to to do it and maybe you guys will be able to meet him too and quick uh, showing of his shop his wood turnings and all that stuff so maybe that will be in a video coming pretty soon we'll have to see I don't know <laughs> Davy Davy Crockett King of the Wild Frontier <laughs> thanks Liz King of the Wild Frontier Davy Crockett Davy Crockett okay guys so, hope everybody's doing good. This is a piece of BC soapstone. Me and my buddy Stu uh, 
how to travel along a railroad track. I got an old video of it um, that we got out of the side of a mountain. There's a, a soapstone vein in the side of the mountain. And um, you can always tell soapstone because you'll see scuffs on, on it like this. This piece particularly is pretty damn hard. But you can usually scrape it and it will go white. I don't know if you can see those marks. But this is an odd shape here. And I honest, honest guys, I have no idea what I'm going to carve. But I'm thinking some type of wood spirit or maybe a wood spirit plant holder. I don't know. It's an odd one, guys. It's an odd one. So, but when you're... You guys, when you're carving different things, always look into it before you carve it and see what, like, see how poisonous the stuff is. I know soapstone's pretty poisonous. Well, not poisonous, but I don't know. I just know you don't want to get your stuff and this stuff in your lungs. So I will be wearing a mask 100% when I'm carving this stuff today. Okay? I'm not going to be using my dust collector table. I'm going to hook up my shop vac. I'm going to run the tube through here and have it sitting here and try and shop vac it up the best I can when... When it's, well, it's not a shop vac, it's like one of those inside duster things for people's vacuums, you know, so they just plug in their vacuum to the wall and they can plug it in anywhere around the house. And this usually sits in the garage. So it's, this is kind of noisy. So it's got a lot of pressure though. This thing sucks up good. It works good and I got it for free. So anyways, I don't know guys. Okay. So the carving birds that I'm not. I'm going to use today. I'm not going to be using my normal cut saw burrs that I love to. My normal go-to burrs. I'm going to be using these. These are all from China, okay? There will be a link in the description below for eBay where to get these burrs from. These are aluminum cutting burrs. You can see the big flutes. They're a lot bigger, okay? There's two different types. There's aluminum cutters and there's steel cutters, okay? See these flutes? They're, they're a lot smaller and they're cross-cut. This, well, here's bigger ones. These are quarter inch burrs, okay? This is an aluminum cutter right here, the big long flutes. And these are steel working burrs. See, way smaller flutes and finer detail. You do finer detail with these guys. But there'll be a link in the description below how to get these uh, aluminum cutters off uh, uh, eBay. The set of 10 of these or like eight of these is like 20 bucks. I think American for the aluminum cutters, but you can look around guys in these uh, steel cutters The you can get them for like maybe 10 bucks 15 bucks shipping included um, Let's see here. Yeah, I don't really use these too much on soft wood because they they plug up too much I use these on real hard wood and of course Soapstone and I know this is really tough soapstone this piece here. I still have no friggin clue what I'm gonna carve in it I don't know man uh, What am I gonna carve? Uh, maybe like uh, I don't know And you got to check out make sure it's not gonna break when I carve it in here like look at those cracks and stuff in there You know you got to really inspect your piece When you're doing something like this because this is look it looks like mountains look at the mountains Look, I already carved it. I carved mountains. So, but anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe like a succulent plant holder hole thing with a wood spirit on it. Who knows? Let's see. Let me think about it for a few minutes and let's start carving. It's You guys have seen my wood spirit tutorial videos in my description, in my uh, playlist. So if you want to learn how to carve a wood spirit the way I do, just go to my playlist. You'll see step by step. So I don't think we're going to really focus on carving the wood spirit today. But well, if I think of something needs to be addressed in this video for somebody to learn from, which I'll be learning the whole time I'm carving this, um, I'll point it out. Look, I carved mountains again. Guys, I was looking at that piece, looking at that piece, looking at that piece, and I couldn't figure out what uh, I wanted to carve. That's what I'm talking about, opening your minds, guys, you know. Nothing was calling me in that piece. Nothing was saying anything. So I have been eyeing up this piece for a while. It's a nice th thin piece. So I've been kind of in the zone for my wood spirits. Like, they're doing it lots, and I think in, um, I don't know, some Asian culture, if you can see those videos where they're doing like the old wizards and old 
Japanese or Chinese gods and stuff and they're making them look kind of like rotten away and hollow. So that's kind of where I got the idea for wood spirits like this, you know what I mean? So I think something like this would be pretty good for hair. Try and make it look like an old rotten piece of rock. With a spirit kind of thing in there. Soapstone's very shaly, guys. So, you know, like, I just had to kind of look. You can see some cracks in there, like along this line here. So, I don't know. Let's just, let's just give her and see how, see how it works out. You know, it'll be different from this guy, but the same kind of idea. Stop the video here. I just want to. Jesus Christ. Okay, guys, I stopped the video here for a second. I just wanted to show you how messy this stuff actually is. Like, you know, this thing's not even really sucking anything up because I'm just carving too fast, right? I'm not letting the, the, the vacuum do its job. But yeah, look how friggin' messy this stuff is. Those are those cases. This is five minutes carving. And when I was carving this, the nose fucking ping, pardon my language, the nose flung off about that high, so this is going to be a real deep carving. Uh, I hope that nose is okay there now. It seems like it's going to be solid, but you just never know with this stuff. There's lots of quartz in here, like little tiny hard rocks. So, stuff like this flying off all the time. So I definitely, well, I wear glasses anyways, but I, I use them as my safety glasses. So, let me clean this mess up here. Guys, I found out why my uh, thing wasn't cleaning up that well, because sometimes, guys, you just need to clean your filters. You know? Damn it. I bet you my neighbors love me. <laughs> Just to show you guys quick, this is called a cyclone filter, okay? Same as that filter that I have for my dust collector table before it, my dust collector table before it goes into the uh, dust collector. When you guys are doing uh, wood carving and you're trying to get filters to suck up the dust, I suggest a, a cyclone filter. Okay, they're pretty damn good. I really don't care at this point. It's not good for my bearings and my dust collector, but whatever, I've had enough. Just get the goddamn wall. Okay, back to carving. Back to carving. You want to hash over? Well, last year, I bet you're gonna have to do it.
Ooh, this is dusty stuff. This is messy stuff, guys. Messy stuff. But this is the part of the carving where I put my piece back there. I enjoy. I have a coffee or a drink of water or a Coke or something. Have my smoke. Look at it and decide what I think of it. Okay. When I was carving this piece, guys, lots of the nose kept on flying off. Ting. You know, it's better to, when you're using stuff like this that's not so sole when you're carving it. Use finer grit pieces, guys, because then when you hit a different material, a harder material than a soft material, it's not going to catch it and it's not going to fly off, okay? It's going to gradually carve into it. It's going to, it's going to, you know, slowly carve into it. So this piece so far, it's, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I can tell you one problem that I've made, and this will be really helpful for the um, new carvers. I started off with his nose too long, okay? My opinion anyways, but whatever. And you know, when I was carving this and I was everything was kind of happening and stuff like that, I was get, kind of starting to get pissed off with the nose, things flying off. But I thought to myself, I'm like, hey, hold on a second here. You're having fun. And it's an experiment. Everything you do is an experiment. So don't stop carving it. Keep going and enjoy it, you know? Look, I'm making this video for you guys. I don't know if this thing's going to turn out like a piece of junk at the end. We'll just have to wait and see. You know what I mean? But enjoy what you're doing. That's the main part of it. It's all an experiment, guys. It's all an experiment. Only certain artists are lucky enough to get rich off of it. But... uh they experimented when they started too, and they're still experimenting. It's always, always a learning process. Always. Okay, I'll shut up. Here's another thing. Here's how I want to make his uh, beard. I don't know if I'm going to go with those lines, but I've looked at it and I've processed it, and I want his beard to kind of look like a decayed away too, but uh, I don't know. Let's just get curving here. So we're in the, I don't know if I already said it, but we're in the part of the video where things are starting to, uh, and part of the carving where things are starting to matter. I don't know if you saw when I was carving the beard, and this big chunk fell off. I think it was this piece. Let's see, this one or this one. Well, one of them flew off. So when I was carving, I was kind of like, ah, shoot. I said, oh, well, let nature take its course. Because this rock is from Mother Nature. So, oh, let's see, soapstone with sanding is a whole different ballpark. You can take it down to 6,000 grit. And the more sanding that you do with soapstone, 100%, you're going to get more. Let's do a spit test, see if we can see the color of the stone. I haven't even done that yet. Oh, that's a goober. So that's a little bit of the color. It's kind of like green, got some black streaks in there. I have really been fighting with this nose in this carving. It's not wanting to stay on and it's driving me nuts. But remember, it's just an experiment. There's color. If you want to look at my spit test. So anyways, with the beard now, I've got it all shaped and everything. I'm going to use once again. Once again, if I can find it, this little 
burr from China. It's a metalworking burr, okay? And I'm going to do it just on edge. I'm going to carve little whiskers in there just on edge like this. High speed. I might use them. This is a aluminum cutter, a really small aluminum cutter, but I might use a steel cutter because it's finer. And this is when I want to start doing my fine carving. You know what I mean? The detailing. The more detailing you put into carving like this, the better it's going to look. I don't know. I think it looks okay so far. What do you guys think? I love comments in the, in the below. I love reading them. You know, if you want to leave a hater comment, go for it. it. It doesn't bother me. This world needs haters to keep spinning. So keep spinning, guys. Keep spinning. Okay guys, this is the part of the carving, this uh, soap is so thin, everything's starting to become really fragile so I don't really want to move it around too much, okay? But what I'm going to do is get my, uh, aha, bristle disc sanders, there's two of them on here, and I'm going to go over this, okay? I got a bunch of them, see this is 120 grit, 600 grit. 1,000 grit. I think I'll probably take it to 1,000. There's 220 grit. So yeah, I'll just keep on working out the grits. I won't show you guys me sanding because that's boring as hell, but turn your Dremel down when you're using these guys. Really, really slow. Turn it down. Because if not, you'll just break all these things. You'll fire up your Dremel and all these things will go flying off. So this is where you really take your time when you're carving is doing the sand, this kind of sanding anyways. You can see those beard hairs in there, how that tool did that. And you guys, when you're doing your beard hairs, try and make everything flow. You know what I mean? Like draw draw patterns on where you want your beard hairs to go on your lap, but everything's going this way on this one, so they're all flowing this way, right? Underlapping this way. Sanding, worst part of the carving, but it makes it look the best, for sure. Sanding. So anyway guys, I'm wearing a mask, but you can see how slow I got my grind, my uh, Dremel going. Really slow. Okay guys, so at this point I got it sanded as enough as much as much Jesus! I got it sanded as enough as much as I Oh god. Okay guys, at this point I got it sanded as much as I wanted to get it sanded. I used a thousand grit on those little bristle brushes, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it off. This piece is really fragile, guys. You can see the look how thin it's come for soapstone. You know, um, you can see cracks in here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see those cracks, but maybe after I, uh, what I'm going to do is wash it off with warm water. And then how you treat these guys, I turn up the oven to like uh, 280. I leave it in the oven till, I, till it's hot, so I can't really touch it, but I can. And then I use beeswax on this stuff, guys. A guy in my, uh, one of my buddies, he's a soap, he's a stone collector and stuff like that, and he's in, stone groups and stuff like that like atheists and all those kind of stones he told me to do this so that's what i'm going to do for this one i'm going to wash it i'm going to turn on the oven to about three 275 or whatever i don't know i'll figure it out do what you want look it up on google it and then i'm going to apply the beeswax
And I'll try and show you guys me doing that. I'll try my best anyways. Maybe. And so you guys can see after I washed it, yeah, it fell apart. But who cares? I'm going to throw this sucker in the oven anyways. Like I said, I wanted it to look like an old rustic thing kind of rotting away. Now it looks a bit more like it's rotting away. So this was just a big waste of time and let's continue. Let's continue. Open the goddamn oven and let's slap her in. I don't know how to set the timer. 10 minutes. Ah, yeah, 10 minutes. Let's go 11 minutes, okay? 11 minutes, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, this is the beeswax I got off uh, <clears throat> Amazon. I used it on a couple of my other soapstone carvings that seemed to work pretty good. It's this stuff right here. You know, there's a couple of my other wood spirit carvings. Weird looking guys, but whatever. So uh, let's go get the piece out of the oven. Hopefully it doesn't break anymore. Okay, so you just hold the soapstone on there. Let it melt on, kind of. And then what you do is I got an old toothbrush here. Well, it's new, a new old one that I've used on soapstone before. And then you just wipe it around with the toothbrush. Like it goes, it gives you lessons, you know, like... If you don't learn from your mistakes, how are you going to learn? Well, maybe you're so good you don't make mistakes. Maybe you're perfect. I don't know who in this world is, but maybe you are. Maybe you're one of a kind. The most perfect person there is on, on the earth. Okay, so now here's our old toothbrush. And just make all your faded parts go away so i'll get this done and then uh, we'll show you what the piece is like when it's finished so you kind of let this wax you let the piece cool down a bit you let the wax um like cool down and then you wipe off any excess wax and then you can spray it with pledge once it's completely cold and that really uh brings out the highlights too you know, the old Inuit uh, native carvers, they carve soapstone and stuff like that. They just do basic shapes, you know, like uh, like an Eskimo or a, or a bear or something like that. Because it's hard to see any detail when you do the carvings. You can't put different colors where well, you could paint it, but that's that's not the idea. You know, you, you see them do just basic shapes because all it really stuff kind of holds is basic shapes, in my opinion, right? Like... So, but whatever, let me get this done here. Okay, so after I waxed it, I used this Pledge uh, Extra moist, Moisturizing. So, there it is, guys. All said and done. You know, like on a piece like this, the more you sand it, the more you're going to see the beautiful uh, stone. You know what I mean? So, let's put her on the wall. And, uh, yeah. Let's get rid of this goddamn flower. I don't think Grumpy Jesse would like it on the wall below this guy here. Uh. Okay, let's see if I can do this without breaking it. I'm gonna put my phone down for a sec. Okay, there it is, guys. See what I mean? You don't see too much detail in the soapstone carving because you can't use colors or burn it or different stains, but I think if you look close enough, you can see what it is. A rotting old man faces with half a mustache. Blow this guy. You know, this is a piece my buddy made me. His, um, he's uh, like a tugboat guy, a, a fisherman guy here in Ladner. And he calls this stuff West Coast Grinder. That's what he calls his fishing company, his tugboat stuff and rescue stuff, West Coast Grinding. Look it up. But he did all this stuff with, uh, 
a grinder and just like a metal metal grinding burr so it burns it when he does it but it's like the Japanese rising sun so uh you know he gave this to me and he's got a nice thing on the road nice thing on the back for for me so this will stay up in my place with all my other art you know I'm full but this this piece really means a lot to me and I got some uh eagle feathers from a native native lady up there too but anyways guys I think this is what I say thanks for uh, if you made it to the end of the video and um, if you like the video you can subscribe or whatever um, leave a comment haters welcome and uh, thanks again guys hope everybody's doing good and um, see you next time I gotta go back to work my name's Grumpy Jesse and I don't like flowers. I just don't like flowers. Okay? Thank you.